Howdy everyone, Winky here, back with a new video, and this is Kirker Iceberg Part 2, um, thank you guys so much for watching that one. If you haven't watched the first one, make sure you go watch it, it will be in the description, or you can click the card in the top right. Anyways, um, before we get into it, I just want to say, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, I know I don't really say that often, but please do, and let's get into it. Tier 3, Meme Star TV. Okay, so Meme Star TV is a one-of-one -one character that was made specifically for um, Spamton. This is also the first person to get their own custom skin in the game. Also, last time I mentioned that this is gonna be like a one of what character um, was for RGB and it ended up getting in the game. So, uh, Zip, Zip, you an op. I'm just kidding, I love you. James's balls. Okay, so basically according to Zip, James's balls are so just massive, just huge, that they distort space and time. So yeah, I guess that's a cool fact. ZG Mario breaking Kirka. Okay, so basically there's a point in time where Kirka just would not work because ZG Mario did not want to go outside. And he got to a point where basically he reached a certain level that like did not exist and every second um the system would try to like give zg mario his rewards even though he couldn't get any rewards so it would just kind of mess with kirka and then the game would basically just shut down and then he got banned and then he started whining and he was like wait wait wait, wait. let me play kirka and yeah Flora. In Flora, you actually used to be able to spawn in the air, and you'd be able to do a huge skip. Though, um, now you don't spawn in the air and you actually spawn on the floor, um, ever since they updated it, so the skip is now not possible to do. Parkour maps. Hello everybody, I'm Slicer. Um, Winky's so bad at making a video, he had to get a drunken Slicer <laughs> to talk about. A game mode um, parkour, yeah. Um, uh, what the fuck am I talking about? Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Um, parkour only game mode that no map has ever been removed from. Every map has ever been made in public in parkour, it's still here. The only ones that have changed slightly is flora and obstruction. But that's because of spawns. Zip. I'm still not happy that you removed Flora spawn. I I'm still raging. That was the best shortcut that was ever in the game and you removed it. Zip main. So, if you may not know, Zip mains Weedy. That's because he sucks. And he should get better. Tier 4. Map editor bug. There was a time when basically the map editor was bugged and it would think that you're cheating or something in the system in the anti-cheat system where it would basically just ban you as far as i know skywalk did get banned from this bug as well staging.kirka.io this is a staging server for kirka so i guess like whenever there's a update that might happen in the near future you can always go and check this server i do know that search and destroy used to be hosted on here and you can actually play dust 2 which i think by far is probably one of the best search and destroy maps that we've had on kirka zip joining a call when kirka dropped their new content creator roles and like their content creator channels and they have a content creator VC, you know all of that i guess what might have happened is that zip accidentally joined the Kirka CC VC instead of you know clicking the channel. Whoopsie Daisy. Though he never did say anything or anything. Like, he just instantly left once he joined. This video is sponsored by Juice Client, which I did make a video on before. There has been a lot of updates, <laughs> and honestly, I would say it's probably one of the best Kirka clients out there. They recently launched the Mac OS version. I would recommend trying it if you want to download Juice Client. Check the link in the description, it will be the first one in there. Anyways, thank you, Ervlo, and back to the video. What 
up guys i'm the clean guy from the clean situation from the last kaka iceberg video and i'm gonna talk about the butter thing whatever the winky fall down I don't know. uh so basically in uh m clan when it was revived and it became like exclusive clan uh the requirements was to either be, be really skilled uh be rich or eat an entire stick of butter so one person called lucy decided that they were going to eat an entire stick of butter uh, and i joined the vc first and i let everyone know that the person was about to eat a stick of butter and it was it wasn't very quick it took them about like two hours to eat an entire stick of butter i'm just saying i would have done it faster um i think the requirement was inspired by someone who ate a stick of butter to join a clan in Kronka. uh and after they did it they were let into the clan and they uh they got the buttard role which is like butter and the arsler like combined uh and then it was all for fucking nothing because a few months later they just they, they left the clan for a, for another clan that i can't remember the name of and then uh afterwards the requirement was changed something else where it's like orange juice and toothpaste oh fucking no but i mean i'll be real we need another we need another aim clan and we should bring that requirement back it was a good requirement i had fun watching all right guys uh now the uh the rest of the stuff in the iceberg video adele okay so adele is the person who made kirka so so they're the original developer of the game which is pretty cool Tier 5, Titan's Drama. So, this was probably what made Boost Stick look so, like, enforced in the Kirka rules. Because this clan actually was, like, one of the first ones to actually abuse it. That's because uh, in early, around November, October, they realized once they got so popular, they were able to use their popularity and their uh, users as a way of getting rich and it worked very well because they did get rich clash royale so my a lot of you might know the mobile game clash royale well there's actually a clan on there that's called kurga.io aim tourney there will not be any more official tournaments after what happened with the aim tournament Basically, what happened is that the skins got leaked beforehand, some of the players were uh, cheaters, there were multiple alts, and all the aim owners were cheating in one way or another. So basically, it was just a bad rep for the tournament. Strems Scandal. So basically, what happened was Strems would he had like a bot that would basically purchase things in the market if it was like under x amount of coins and whatnot root kit client so basically what happened is that the password to the dev tools of the official kirk client was saved as a plain normal and readable text visible to everyone who has the knowledge to check the source code and that same password also had access to the admin panel the admin panel showed all currently active official Kirka client users on one screen and you were able to send messages to those players through the admin panel. Since you could also see in which lobbies they were, no matter whether or not they were private, there was an accident where half of the new map from a CEB got deleted. However, the worst thing was that you were able to execute JavaScript and other codes through that admin panel into the user's operating system, which basically just means that you were in theory able to steal data or delete users files from their computers outro thank you everyone for watching so much i just want to let y'all know that i did open up a discord server for any like events i feel like i want to do there is one event that i've been planning and i've been wanting to do and i also opened up a patreon too so if you want to support me all the money will go back into my videos and also for cash prizes for my events so that way it's just not kirk skins that you're competing for anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and i love you all Mwah. bye bye